know why? Because I have my cloaking device on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's my. I have a cloaking device. <laughs> the stream is the most scoffed stream ever. Well, here, here I go. I'm gonna turn oh. off my cloaking device real quick. I was gonna say that is a bold claim to make after the stream from two weeks ago. That's true, but, it, but right now I'm I'm turning off my cloaking device. <laughs> Oh, I'm back. Look, I'm back. See? <laughs> I didn't... It's not like I didn't have the program open or anything. <laughs> Even my highly advanced technology, we've been able to see you the entire time on my stream. Oh, wow. It's amazing. Incredible. Yes. Hello. I'm, hello. Hello. Hi. I'm diagnosing bitrate problems. Um, so... I, I went down to 720p, and uh, that didn't help. I turned off NVIDIA Broadcast, and that didn't help. And, uh, like, I'm streaming at 5K bitrate. <laughs> um, excuse me. And um, now you can hear everything. You can hear me clap. You can hear me clap. You can hear me snap. You can hear me whistle. Yep, you can give me to do all the things because I turned off my NVIDIA broadcast and I'm still dropping frames. So mm. I need to do some test streams, but I don't want people to join and be like, hey, what are you doing? You streaming? So <laughs> I just need to test out my bitrate. It's like, is it my is it my encoder? Or is it my internet connection? I don't know at this point. I have zero idea. See, I just dropped some frames no, for no reason. Mm. But no reason. Just 741 drop frames so far. <sighs> Scuff stream, everyone. How's everyone doing today? How's everyone doing today? I'm well. Great. Uh, I do have I... some very mild friction burns, but other than that, I'm fine. Friction burns? Yeah. Uh -oh. That's not good. From what? Uh, so, when I was walking my dog, I uh, let go of the leash at one point, and I needed to uh, grab it quickly as uh, he was running past me. <laughs> Did he get away? No, he, like, uh, it was, uh, walk when I was in my yard, he ran up to one of the people that I lived with, and then ran back mm -hmm. to me, and he was going to run past me, but I didn't want that to happen, so... I'm gonna move you over here. There you go. Here's your head. Nice. Your glorious, your glorious head. I'm no longer <laughs> hidden behind the desk. You were looking for the the on-off switch for my cloaking device, right? You yeah. did a good job. Yeah. Th thank you. No thank problem. you. Uh, <laughs> it really would have been more convenient if you put the if you put the on-off switch on the device itself. To be honest, well, I'm. You look at this. You look at this girl and tell her that she's impractical. She is not. Everything she does is impractical. Fair enough. <laughs> she solves things with explosions. She says, "I want to build that. How can I make that with explosions?" That's like the kind. It's so counterproductive. <laughs> <laughs> she's like the orcs from 40k. She just slaps some stuff together and it works somehow. That's her magical power. <laughs> If anyone in chat is a wizard at configuring OBS, let them email me at this web zone. Or a sorcerer, Shepi even. Yeah, or a sorcerer, or a w warlock. If you're a warlock, uh, email me at this web zone at explosion. <laughs> you, you getting sick of those yet? <laughs> Oh, God. Let's get started. All right. And hopefully my stream doesn't die. I'm getting sick of these frame drops. All right. You see my... We're see, you, see the, you see the stream fine? Is, yep. Is, okay, good. No particular issues on my end. Good. So we are at day 14. We sure are. Rent is due on the 30th. Please make sure you have your account as necessary 10 thousand dollars or you'll be evicted joe wants to see if the alex doll's beard actually grows buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted have a very nice day 
We will. You've been using that hoodie a lot lately. Sh shut up. <laughs> Let's go shop. Indeed. Alex Figurine. From cult classic video game Y2K. Mm. His beard grows in real time. Why why did this have a cross promotion in one of the worst games ever made? That's a good question. Alright. We bought it. Congratulations. Bill drop Bill what she wanted and she is pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. Fantastic. Do we see it on the screen here? I don't think so. I don't see any Alex figurine. And maybe that's for the best. I was gonna say, uh, I do not see nothing seems to have changed, obviously. Yes. Uh the augmented eye. News. News of indeterminate legitimacy. Glitch City Olympics return next year. Wow. For the tenth consecutive year, the GC Olympics returns to the emblematic Super Silver Thunderdome, this time with a representative from the elusive country of Kanyevania. This did not age well. Prime Minister Quincy, who is in charge of the committee, told the Augmented Eye that it wasn't easy getting in touch with Khan J J Y E, and that we have to abide some of his religious rules in order to see some of their best competitors come to the country. Kanye Vania's main religion, Kanyeism, prohibits the existence of nanomachines inside the body, and as such, competitors from said country have to perform specific treatments in order to repel the swarm. It's a temporary solution, but it'll do the trick. That's kind of racist against uh, people that have to use nanomachines. Come on, Kanye. That's like anti-trans shit. Come on. Uh, in today's world, at least. Mm -hmm. uh, you wouldn't believe what happens in this cartoon. Wow. Wow. Go ahead, if you want to take <clears throat> over. Cartoons are not for children. What? They're still largely colorful, but theme the themes they touch have become rather dark. In fact, every cartoon on the air today has its what? dark themes. It's come to the point where an innocent animated characters are no longer a thing. I suppose children are young adults from birth now? But enter Touch Fluffy Tail, a new show that aims to challenge the current trend. Oh, sorry. Yep, no problem. No deep lore, no obscure adult references, no stupid deep plots. Just fun with numbers and fluffy tails, said a TFT producer who wished to remain anonymous to avoid internet backlash. I don't want to make I don't want death threats for making a cartoon for actual kids. Right. Well, there's shows like Owl House and like uh, Starverse that had deep storylines, and there were still goofy parts in those shows. What's wrong with having a deep plot? I don't think you they're saying a... that there's anything inherently wrong with deep plots. I assume that it's just sort they of said, a... They said no stupid deep plots. They called them stupid, Tiberius. <laughs> well, then no they clearly just have a smart deep plot. There you go. Well, they, that's a generalization basically saying that all deep plots are stupid. They're, they're not saying some, they're saying all of them. Mm. It's, that, that's, that's kind of rude it is creators rude. that actually want to tell an tell a actual story like Owl House. I mean, having a, having a show that is just goofy and just uh, an ADHD trap like friggin', um, what's it called? Oh. Do, 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 wander over yonder <laughs> that show is a goofball trap that 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 show fits that bill i mean it does have some plot to it but mostly it's there for the slapstick humor mm -hmm. come on it's really mean very inflammatory can... news today yeah like i said the augmented eye questionable legitimacy and its journalism uh, street race at the Motor City. The Motor City District is notorious for the number of illegal street races it sees each week, and the dozens of injured drivers it leaves every year. This time, it has been reported that two people died during a race hosted at the Gate Highway, otherwise known as the Death Lane. 
Well, the transit. If any, if people are gonna die at, at any race, I suppose it'd probably be the one at the death lane. <laughs> the transit police is currently investing the deaths, as well as the underground world of illegal street racing. We have several suspects in regards to who is running this underworld, <clears throat> but nothing concrete as of yet. Chief of the Transit Police Department, Jay Esposito, told the Augmented Eye, the death of these two youngsters will be the last. However, that's a See. problem. <laughs> that's funny. Funny jokes. I heard that there's a defamation campaign against the district, though. Yeah. Should be. Let's go. Let us go. It's time for work. Good morning. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Gil's in the back sorting the ingredient shipment, and I've got things to do. The dog's in charge, okay? Bye. What? <laughs> Wait, the, the dog what? Okay, first order. Pet me. No. Pet me. No. I'm in charge. I want you to pet me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Time to mix drinks and change lives and not pet this dog. Hey, Jay. Won't pet you. He'll pet me sooner or later. They all do. Walt. Will. <laughs> you called? No, we said he said Will. Not Gil. Ah. Uh. So now we know how it's pronounced. It's not Jillian, it's William. <laughs> Who's Will? Nobody! Don't be rude with poor Will. There's no Will! Do you need me to psych you up then? Shut up! Who? Me or Will? Both of you! <laughs> you go back to whatever you were doing. Alright. I'm gonna turn up the game a little bit. We're at 2,396 drop frames. Can we go wow. even higher, folks? Let's go. And you stand by. And you stand by. Only if you pet me. <laughs> go. What the fuck just happened? Oh, no. Well, aren't we spirited today? Not this guy. Welcome to the uh, Virgilio? Why do you sound so weirded out? You didn't show up with a bombastic soliloquy. Well, putting up an act can be tiring, you know. So it's all an act, then. Wasn't it obvious? I, I guess. Would you mind getting me a bleeding Jane? Sure. I'm finally making drinks! Holy shit! It's been like two streams, we haven't made any drinks. <laughs> I'm amazed. Bleeding Jane. I can do that. And Virgilio's even, like, normal today. All blended. Yeah. All blended. That's amazing. There you go. A bleeding Jane. Yes, this is just the thing. So, tired of putting up an, on an act? Care to explain? It's a long story, and I'd honestly rather not talk about it right now. Fair enough. What made you change your mind, though? Well, for one thing, it's safer for me now. The pompous buffoon act was mostly a way to avoid raising suspicion. I kind of want to, like, his voice is now, like, more serious and less cartoony. All less right, cartoony villain. I can do that. <laughs> Safer? There's a word that's been losing meaning. That, there's a word that's been losing meaning lately. Wait, that was your way of avoiding suspicion? Yes. You do know how weird that sounds, right? It sounds weird. You try not to raise suspicion. You try not to raise suspicion, but you act in a bombastic manner that screams you're there. And everyone dismisses the fool as a buffoon and moves on. Eh? I mean, you might be right if I, if I were talking about hiding myself. 
but I'm avoiding certain crowds of people. Yes, my behavior might call everyone's attention, but then everyone just decides I'm harmless and disregards me. Hey, Sheppy, hope you're well. Rat is feeling sleepy. Once my friend goes to bed, so do I. Thank you. How's the stream look? Does it look fine even at 720p? And are you seeing any frame drops or is it stuttering? Please let me know. Please let me know, Rat. Friend, please let me know. Sit. Good friend. Please. Yeah, today's stream is a little bit experimental on Shep's side. Yes. I want to make sure... I want to find out why my bits drop for no reason. See a little stuttering there, and there's nothing. It, there's nothing terrible. I'll figure this out later. I'll do some test streams. Turn off some stuff. Reduce some settings. I don't know. Is there something on Windows 11 that says "fuck Sheppy" and, and, and their stream? <laughs> They're streaming right now. Let's send in the bit goblins and eat the bits. The, yeah, I think that was in the latest update, actually. The the bit the go bit goblin update. Yeah. 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 The, the Windows updates are great. Is, is it obvious that I'm a little bit perturbed? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Okay, 40 CPU right now, running for 40 CPU, Elgato audio control server. What is that? Hmm? Elgato audio control server. Is that what's pushing the sound to my computer from my, my capture card? Is that I what it's... I don't know offhand. Anyway... I'm going to do some testing later. Yeah. Yeah, probably best not to get into anything right now. Yeah. But then everyone, yeah, um, harmless disregards me. And depending on how erratic my actions are, I become harder to read. Giving me yet another layer of enigma. I... Huh. Well, congrats. No offense, but I fell right into your plan. I... Just dismissed your actions as those of a fool and moved on. You comp you completely fooled me. Thanks. Say, can you give me something spicy? Sure. Sure. Not a another bleeding chain. Probably uh, not. Yeah. Uh, flavor spicy blue light. Oh, he likes Sounds promo like drinks probably. Fine. Yeah, he probably likes he probably likes promo drinks. And three Karmatrin, all aged on the rocks and mixed. Bloom light. There we yeah. go. Aren't you fascinated by spiciness? Just what's spicy for humans might not be spicy for other animals. In fact, what's toxic for, toxic for us might not be for other creatures. You like spicy things, bartender? I don't mind them, I guess, but I'm not really a fan. That neutral stance is actually weird to come across. Everyone either loves spicy things or hates them with passion. Do you like it? Lots, not only in regards to painfully spicy things, but also the way mild or slight spice adds to a meal. I've always had this dream of opening a curry stand. As things are, I might actually pursue that dream. Let me know when you do. I haven't had curry in ages now. Hey, bartender. Call me Jill. I wanted to apologize. Hmm? You put up with me all this time without lashing out. I should apologize for my behavior, and thank you at that. Virgilio? You're... You're improving! I'm starting to like you! He's actually... He's actually pretty decent. Yeah. I actually felt like I was too rude to you the last time you came. Granted, you came at a really bad time, but... I should be the one apologizing. You're a client, after all. Well, don't. I'm actually surprised that nobody else had violently lashed out at me yet. Have a good night, rats. Thanks for stopping by, and thank you for judging my stream as not shitty. <laughs> yes, farewell, rat. 
You're making me curious as to who you really are, though. Is Virgilio even your real name? It might be. It might not. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a magnet for people who hide their identities and sordid pasts. Gil, Jamie, you. Um, did you say something? Uh, just rambling. Uh, pay me no mind. Now that I think about it, how did you find this far? I was avoiding some chaps and came to this alley. Huh. Again. Again? No, no, no. I, what I mean is, I'm, in my time here, I've heard avoided people ended up here enough times to make me believe that the original owner built the bar here thinking about the runaway public. You make me sound like a criminal. You're not helping. The expression runaway doesn't just mean people escaping the law, though. We've had people avoiding stalkers or solicitors. I've seen people more shocked by an insistent salesman than a shady figure. Maybe because the salesman is a more active predator? I don't know. I wanna sell you some I wanna sell you some cable? Fuck that. A troublesome part of the city might right near the shopping district. Let them know there's a bar and they'll come. Psst, sorry. I should stop rambling to myself so much. I don't mind it. Do you think I'm sort of criminal though? Like I said, you're not helping. For all I know, you might be at the Fapoon I've, I've seen with the other days. In any case, can I get something bitter here? On it. Let's go with something that's bitter and promo. Bitter so mm -hmm. girly soft. Bitter manly strong. Bitter manly burning. Bitter manly burning. Mm, do we have a bitter promo drink? Yes, we do. Bitter promo bland. That's perfect. Oops. Oops. Too much Adelheid. Too much sauce. One Karmatrin. All blended. Yeah, we know that the Karmatrin is the alcohol. Do we know what the rest of the ingredients do? Has the Cherry. game ever explained that? Cherry. Lemon. Blueberry. Lime. All right, fair enough. For kids, right? Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the other one. <laughs> don't worry about this one. I don't know why, but adding five of each of these makes a beer. <laughs> because beers just... are made up of cherries, limes, blueberries, and lemons. Right, alcohol. exactly, exactly. Here. This works. Do you like coffee, Miss Bartender? As weird as it may sound from a smoking bartender, no, I don't. Well, I get it. It's not for everyone. Cat Boomer the other day. What about her? Still scared of her? Not really, but she looks so familiar. Maybe you're mixing her up with another Cat Boomer? No, that's not it. It's like the Bandage Girl last time. Even with them, even with the bandages, there's something really familiar about her. Maybe you need to stop thinking about it. Answers usually come to you when you're stopped stressing it out. You might be right. Well, I leave you for now, bartender. Thanks for everything. Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, Mr. Detective. Oh, it's Art. <laughs> it's me. It's you. And here we are. Another mute person wandering into the bar. Anything I can get you? Gun punch. Okay. Jerry, I need a gun punch. Right now. I got an idea. Gun punch. Gun punch. Bronson. Uh, oh. A little bit too quick there. With optional karma trail. Let's get him a little bit drunk. All aged and mixed. Aged and mixed. Here. Oh, you got it right. So what's up? What's up now? A bit of a holiday blues, you could say. So you celebrate Mega Christmas? Why wouldn't I? You look more like a Festivus kind of guy. Why does everyone keep saying that? 
Well, Festivus is a celebration going against the capitalist madness. That is Mega Christmas. And, you know, cheapskate. If you have something to say, say it. I'll refrain. Although, now that I think about it, holiday blues is not really tied to a specific celebration. Just the season. A season of consumerist craze. Mega Christmas is just a mockery of what the real Christmas once was. I mean, the season has slowly become enslaved to the corporations over time. Holiday spirit can only be manipulated so much. But then came the Turbo Mail Guy. He started a yearly tradition of dressing up like Santa in a ring. Turbo Mail? That can't be his ring name. It is. Really? Such a tacky name was accepted? His partner was Buster Master, and his rival was Dr. Chris Max. Tacky names were not a problem. I mean, I knew there was a wrestler that dressed as Santa every year. I also knew that the guy became insanely popular, and the stunt got out of control. And, of course, that's the part everyone sings about. Santa became Mega Santa thanks to the Redmond family. Mega Santa sees the error of his ways and becomes the mighty Mega Santa, renaming the holiday Mega Christmas. And then every company jumped into the bandwagon, and Christmas was Mega Christmas before anyone noticed. So you're telling me that the guy who somehow managed to rename the holiday went by the ring name Turbo Mail? Yup. That makes the cultural whole cultural artifact. Makes the whole holiday sound like a joke. The holiday is a joke. And you're telling me you don't celebrate Festivus? <sighs> no, I don't. Do you know what kind of people celebrate Festivus? The kind that's so lame and bland that every they only can talk about how they are better because they celebrate Festivus. Oh, look at us. We celebrate Festivus. Look at us. Like those jerks who only eat nuke and they think they're better than everyone else. I see. Anything else I can get you? Give me a French Weaver, will ya? Sure. Let's get this guy a French Weaver so we can cool him down. Oh my god. He wants to get plastered. He is... He's having a time, isn't he? Aged and mixed. Aged and mixed. Here. Right. Thanks. So, uh, any issues with the city lately? What's the word on the street? Shouldn't I be asking you that? There's nothing new, really. The lynching's a white night stopped, so there's that. That's nice. Oh, really? That's nice. Something about the armor. I haven't got much on that one yet. Oh no, the madness following the attack on the bank seems to have settled down a bit. That's good to hear. Have any other details about the attack on Mercia? All records of whatever happened there have been long deleted. Security cams, system logs, everything was wiped. That sounds suspicious. Whatever happened there, yeah, that's, that's very suspicious. It's become even more of a mystery now. This reminds me of the plot of uh, the anime. Um, reminds me of the plot of the anime uh, Ghost in the Shell, standalone mm. complex, with um, the Laughing Man. Not where, seen um, that one. Oh yeah, the Laughing Man is the super amazing hacker that uh, everyone in standalone complex has a, 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 a cyber brain that mm -hmm. hooks up to the internet, and they're supposed to be unhackable, unhackable devices that they don't connect. They all are encrypted, but somehow the Laughing Man was able to hack into everyone's brain who watched this broadcast so they couldn't see his face. Mm. So th that's the plot. Um, so this reminds me of that where like whoever did it deleted everything. I wonder if Say plans on testifying. Does everyone know Say went there in the first place? Maybe the wiping out of everything actually protects her somehow. Hey, bartender. You all right? Sorry, you got distracted. There's not much to say, really. There's the odd silly rumor there and here and there. Like the vending machines, tasers, malfunctioning and applying more strength. Or that the writer of The Last Reign in the World is actually living here as a brain in a jar. <laughs> but those are the kind of rumors you hear from crackheads. Crackheads might hold that one last piece of info you need. But you can also hear crap like that. I see. 
Anyway, I'm leaving. Happy New Year, bartender. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Uh, please come again. Okay, then. Um, Been a pretty uh, smooth but, day so far. Ba- uh, No, wait, she's out. Gil, you there? Yeah, taking your break? Let me know when someone comes in! That was a good performance, don't you think? I, I like being the uh, I like being the detective. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I feel like I feel like you really you really put your, yeah you really did yeah you did good. You did oh, good thank job. you. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> I love voice acting. Some combination well, is, of words. Well, we have to start erasing the oldest. Yep. It's now safe to keep playing. Things are pretty quiet outside. What does it sound like? Can I play it? Hmm. Oh. oh, that was that's part of my playlist. All systems go. Oh right, right. Random song. What's this? Yeah, it's been it's been a good long while since we've changed any of the songs, hasn't it? I like this song, Underground Club. reality what's a good opening song that's a good opening song yeah yeah and then uh glitch city oh, that's even better maybe a little bit morose a little bit yeah Oh, that's I don't. That's breakbeat. We don't want. We don't want that near the end. Nightmare maneuvers. I like this one. Yeah. Um, let's get. Uh, oh, I wish I could preview these ones. Hmm. Um. I want to get rid of that one and uh, nighttime maneuvers. Okay. Uh, let's go with that. Oh, it's Kim. Who's Kim? Uh, she's the. She used to be a reporter. I, she quit. I, I right. I know that, but you what? you use <laughs> Kim. Jill. Ah, Miss Kim. Just call me Kim. It sounds weird to be called Miss. You seem to be in a good mood. I got some money on Mega Christmas. Wouldn't you be happy? I guess. What can I get you? I'll have a beer. Okay. Beer. Adelheid. Bronson. Powdered Delta. Flanner Guide. And four commentary. We have, con so we have, have beers combined all, all of the fruits. And also all the, the mysterious fruits. fifth in ingredient that nobody understands. Right. Here. Tip. Thanks. So, how have you been doing? Uh, pretty good, actually. My hair stopped falling out. My appetite is coming back. I haven't realized just how much the newspaper was weighing on me until I quit. I suddenly stopped feeling defeated. I actually felt like I achieved a victory. Like, I could get hold down of my own life. So nice to hear. Oh yeah, I'll start bartender training in January too. Oh, really? Yeah. I did some research and it sounded cool. BTC gives you many benefits, so it sounds like a good thing to do for the time being. I don't know if it's what I want to do for the rest of my life, but it's a good start. It'll give me time to think on the next course of action. A bit of advice. Don't go for BTC housing plans unless you absolutely have to. You have to sign a contract for at least five years of service, with a cut in pay and tips. That sounds pretty rough. I was gonna go for that one, but I backed down a little a bit at the last minute. How did you back down a bit? Well, I took, I took the chance when the BTC found me in the apartment. And instead of signing the BTC into contract, I just asked for a regular one. I still have no idea how I got away with that one. 
I thought those apartments were built by them or something. Back in England, they are. Uh, they have their own real estate companies. Apartment complexes where they have the means to give discounted rooms for employees. But in this city, Reality Nula, Realty Nula holds an unspoken real estate monopoly. So BTC can't easily offer such promises. Oh, one monopoly defeating another, I guess. Reality Nua, uh, Realty, <laughs> Realty Nua, uh, is just a bit weird as far as companies go. Their name has become synonymous with quality, a brand built around certain expectations. But the truth is that Realty, Realty Nua has done little to no work in the last 10 years or so. Really? I mean, when they started, they managed to sell and build upon plots of land that everyone gave up on. They became a big name as far as real estate goes. But in reality... In, in reality... Now I'm getting the two words mixed up! You got it backwards this time. <laughs> I got it backward now. But in reality, the company itself had actually gone done less than you think over the years. I wonder why, because they have a monopoly? Most of the time, they've, they're cashing in on their established properties or letting others work with them. I believe in the last 10 years or so, they've only started around three or four new projects. And they're all expansions of their already established ones. You seem to know a lot about it. No, I, I just read a lot about uh, a lot about it over time. Especially after hearing my landlord ramble about them. I think it's all par for the course for real estate companies, really. But it's true that when you hear a name so much, you expect something. I don't know. Different? But enough rambling on my side. You must be thirsty. Can I get you anything else? Let's try a sugar rush. Okay. Easy orders. So Easy far. Easy orders. Everyone's, uh, everyone's calmed down a little bit after the holidays, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. And that is uh, all mixed. Here you go. Yay! Actually, Joe, I came here today to thank you. The, me? Yeah, back when I first showed up here, I was in a really tough, rough spot. I was shocked. I was tired. I was a total mess. I even said some really mean things. You had patience with me. Not to mention, you helped me cool down, and your boss saved me. And, I don't know, I felt like I had to tell you all that before the year ended. Much appreciated. Thanks. But anyway, how are you doing? Last time you were a bit... off. I'm better now. Thanks a lot. Uh, glad to hear it. I was... it was weird to see you like that. I always felt like you were putting up a cool bartender act. It... it did? You don't? I, I don't. This is just me. She's just naturally cool. I'm just naturally this way. <laughs> Are, are you sure? Oh, what you saw as a cool bartender act was what everyone else has described as being cold. I mean, cold and cool do mean the same, but... Uh, no, nah, don't put up, try to put up an act. Sorry for... Sorry to disillusion you. I, I'm not much of a mess to do so... Just, I'm not too much of a mess to do such a thing. <clears throat> you should see the other guy, Virgilio. Now, if you want to see an act, talk to that guy. Huh. But not right now, apparently. Uh, disappointed? S surprised, actually. What led me to believe that you were putting on an act? And more importantly, how can I make a use of it when I get assigned to a bar? I must investigate further, taking notes. She still has the reporter instincts, I see. Yes. So good luck with that. S say, let's try something bubbly now. All right. Hmm. Bubbly drinks. Bubbly is an interesting flavor, huh? Oh, do you want to give her a frothy water for old time's sake? Uh, do we? Do we? It's, I'm asking it's you. It's just... <sighs> it's, it's cheap, though. We, we, we want money. We need money. Fair enough, fair enough. See, that's a lot, little bit more. I don't want her to suffer, though. Like, I don't want to. I don't want her to suffer here. Fair um, enough. Cobalt Velvet. 
Sure, let's do that. A cobalt velvet for the lady. Three flanner glide, guys. There we go. All in a rock mix. Hey, Turt, how you doing? I'm struggling. This is a struggle stream. Not having a good time with my bit rate. I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with that. But how are you doing? You just missed uh, an amazing performance by yours truly. I did a great detective voice. <laughs> Jerry, I found I found the clues, Jerry. <laughs> it was good. Uh, let's serve this cobalt velvet to this lady. Indeed we shall. Here. Thanks. Hey, Jill, I'm going to need some ice. Ah, boss. Boss? Oh, I know you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, nice to see you're fine. I'm more than fine. I'm alive. I'm here. I avoided my biggest mistake in life thanks to your timely intervention. I, I don't know what overcame me. I just felt like... Like everyone was shouting. I couldn't stop the shouting, so I just felt like... Like... Thank you! Don't even mention it. I just did what I felt was right. Jill? Ice, please? Right. Are you alright? Did you seek help? I know a couple of people I could help you. Don't worry. I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I've gone to a therapist a couple of times, but he says I'm okay. I just... Some, something overcame me, but you intervened, and I, I don't know what to say. You already said thank you. Seeing that you're fine is more than enough for me. I should come to thank you earlier. I owed you that, at least. Don't worry. Just go out and be happy. You have a second chance, so use it as best you can. Yeah! I will. I'll be leaving. Happy New Year, Jill. And thank you again. <laughs> Goodbye. I already miss you. Please come again. Uh, Turt and chat says, I have made a Saturn discovery about my grandparents. I've been using Twitch to calm me down. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope mm. they're okay, and I hope you're okay. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, if you're old enough to drink... Uh, well, I'm going to end that train of thought, but if you're old enough to have some fun. <laughs> wink, 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 wink. Uh, pour yourself something delicious. It's a belief they have on gin. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. That's awkward. Mm. Well, I, I don't know what where you fall in the LGBTQ spectrum, but I can see how that could affect you. And um, it's just remaining amicable with your grandparents after knowing that fact. Is, it will be tough. I know. Um, straight cis man still, yeah. I, you're a good ally. Thank you for being a good ally. And it's, yeah, this still sucks that you know your grandparents are have those kind of feelings towards people that just want to exist. Um, it's like for me, like, they, they probably think that I shouldn't exist or I shouldn't have gender affirming care or I people uh, that, that, that sh they should be they should be removed from existence or something crazy like that. I don't know the extent of what they believe, but in any case, you the bet you don't want to hate them. You just need to love them. You still want to love them, show them just it's it will be hard, but you still have to show love and respect. You don't want to fall. You don't want to go down to their level. That's my advice for you. Um, you don't have to force yourself to be near them. You just, if you have to, for any circumstance that you have to be near them, just be the better person. You want to know how it started? Uh, because of a stupid rat plush I have? What? There's no such thing as a stupid rat plush. Aw, oh, there's no such thing. And my friend Rat would take offense to that. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, feel free to share if you're comfortable. I don't want you... Don't, obviously, don't share anything too personal. Um, don't dox yourself. Uh, I mean, operational security. Don't keep that in mind. Uh, change names if you have to. But yeah, if it will help you feel, uh, if it will help you cope with that, 
uh, yeah, feel free to tell me, and I'll I'll see what I I'll I'll tell you what I think. But I'm gonna keep on playing. Woo! Please come again. So, a couple of weeks ago, I read some news about a woman saving a suicidal girl. Catch her midair. Did you know something about that, boss? Hmm. Mm, maybe. Maybe not. Was that you? Was it you? Whoever it was probably just did it because it was the right thing to do. Ah, uh, right. Feeling lonely? <laughs> that voice. Oh. Who's Anna? Uh, uh, I am, I, got, I think. I got an achievement. You did? Hold on. No, wait, hold on. Who? Who is this? I don't think... I don't think this character has been assigned yet. Hey, Joe. Long time no see. Do you want me to take over? <laughs> or you haven't done a voice in a while. I have not. Up to you. What do you hey, want Joe. Do? Long time no see. Really long time no see. Seriously, it feels like it's been over a year since I last saw you. I was planning on visiting you last week, but things were pretty heavy back then. So, I just waited in the background until the tension wore off a bit. Earth to Joe, I'm talking to you here. I ignore her. She don't leave. Oh, she's the, she's the gal that was in the television. No, you're not real. I ignore her, she'll leave. I'm not an unfathomable sense of dread. You can't just ignore me, you know. She's not real. She's not real. She is in though. Julianne Stingray, I'm talking to you. There's no signal, by the way. There's no signal, by the way. Folks, this is uh, probably a figment of Jill's imagination. Calm down. Don't fall for her taunts. Deep breaths, Jill. I should mold my full name, though. I thought your full name was Julianne Natalie Stingray. Or did you leave, eagerly remove the Natalie? Never mind that. She's reading my mind. She's reading my thoughts? Yeah, I mean, they're kind of written in the middle of the screen. What? It's hard not to see them, actually. What? What the fuck is going on? A lot's going on, apparently. <laughs> this is the wrong music for this. We need to go to something more serious. This is good. All right. That's it. I'm going crazy. It's such a self-centered way to see the world. You assume that you're crazy because you can't accept that this world could be weirder than you think. This world is amazing because of the things you just can't explain. Just because only you experience something doesn't mean it's a lie or that you're crazy. I mean, just look at that at ASMR. <laughs> Is this for real? Apparently. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's great. That's awesome. This this is so this is so trendy. It's 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 it, it's so it's so um, relatable. <laughs> Let me read this real quick. I was given a name by the company. It was given a name by the company, and in the description they used he. So I could tell it was a boy. But I have someone in my class and... Uh, but I have someone in my class and, uh, who sh shares the name but is female. Hmm. Is it a unisex name? Like... Like Robin? Like Robin is a unisex name, or... Even Ashley. Ashley, you know, Ashley... Fun fact, it used to be a male, only a male name, and only in like the last few centuries has it changed through generations into a more female name, and it's basically, basically only a female exclusive name. I digress! I digress! It's probably a unisex name, and your parent, your grandparents are being a little bit ridiculous. That sounds ridiculous. I'm getting freaked out about what's happening on screen right now. No, I'm pretty sure that's what a crazy person would say in this scenario. You acknowledge me. Shit. That's good. I want... Not certain you anything. What? Why? Last time you came, I had to clean the drinks I served you off the floor. 
Don't be like that. I guess we're also paid with my money. I don't know how you did it. So any of all my plans I had for the rest of the week off balance. I was going to buy some curry with the money I had to put up with for those drinks. Dog duty done, but I know we should have, I know we have slow days, but for goodness sake. Okay, you look angry. <sighs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Good job out there. I'm back. Ah, boss, uh, what happened? Meeting cut short. At least I drank the bottle. Are you okay? You look distraught. I'm, I'm fine. So I really can't see you. I mean, you're right in front of them. And you're wearing jeans under a skirt. That's a cute, that's a cute picture. Why? Just why? To annoy people, of course. Is that a new trend? What does she think she's doing? Everyone feels like it's not quite right. Everyone thinks they should call you out. But they can't bring themselves to it because it's not that wrong. There are things like spats after all. It's uncannily right, not at all wrong, and they can't stop staring. Not like anyone other than me could see it though. They could see it if they wanted to. Jill, you're making an awful lot of faces there. Are you okay? Yeah, um... Just remembering stuff. I miss not being crazy. Boss, I'm leaving early today. And you stay here. Who stays where? Did I just... You have to be the first person I've met who mixes their inner and outer voice. I, I, I thought I saw one of the dogs near the counter. Sorry. Oh, okay. Can I leave a bit earlier today? Sure. Thanks for taking care of the four. What about me? You haven't even... You haven't left yet. I'll thank you when you leave. Yes, boss. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I... Whatever. More work? What just happened? Uh, a lot <laughs> just happened. Is... Does... Does she have a cybernetic brain that's also getting hacked? Maybe. Is she seeing hallucinations? Also, you know, uh, it's, you know, it's, you know it's kind of nifty? What? Uh, I for I had completely forgotten who the who Anna was. I didn't recognize her when we saw her, but uh, but yeah, I actually last time she showed up when when I wrote her down as Mystery TV Girl, uh, she I also did the voice for her then. So yeah, okay. so me doing the voice was perfectly perfectly good. Nice, fantastic. Wow, I'm at seven thousand nine hundred twenty-eight drop frames. We mm. we hit the jackpot, everyone. <sighs> Ren is due on the thirtieth. Jill wants a poster. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that was an interesting stream. I it enjoyed was. my acting. I did a good job. I think. I'm just gonna. It was pretty fun. Yeah. Pull my suspenders and be like, mm, I'm the best. Yes, I'm the best voice actor I ever known. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, that's the end of today's stream. I guess. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, when I was explaining this, because I thought it kind of cool, he just kind of said he was tired of all the gender crap or something, and that and started explaining X Y chromosomes. Oh, I'm getting a headache already for some mm. reason, which somewhat involved dunking on non-binary people for no reason. Also, they mentioned that we don't didn't like you, which more so confused me more than anything. They mentioned people who didn't like you, so... Assholes? <laughs> Monica's redesign looks kind of weird. <laughs> they even gave her a new name, Anna. <laughs> Man, dude, I didn't... I was one of the few people that didn't look into spoilers for that, for that game. 
and I was not expecting the subject matter. It kind of hurt my brain. Ugh. As in the usage of the word you, right. Mm. Well, I have some I have some people to talk to because I need to speak to someone who knows more about OBS than I do to know how to configure my my ex, my my settings. Do you know anyone, Tiberius? Do you do you actually know how to configure OBS? Mm, I only know what I've read in various help threads, and I do not uh, I do not have any any contacts I could uh, I could tap for this, unfortunately. <sighs> Maybe Altariana. He's a Maybe. smart guy. Yeah, my mm. expertise more or less begins and ends with the specific audio plugins that I use. Right. Interesting. Maybe Boodles knows. Yeah, I'll talk to Boodles. Boodles yeah, you you, you probably have a better chance of knowing someone who knows something than I do. It's either all or Boodles. Uh, I had to help. What is causing this issue? Uh, maybe a second set of eyes will help? Maybe if you looked at my screen, maybe you looked at my settings, you could see something that's off. We'll do that off we'll do that off stream. Off right. stream, folks. But you know, yeah, like like most Thursday streams, they're kinda of short. Um, we wanna keep bit. every every day every stream a day per. So that's what we're doing. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by, and Turt for sharing uh, for sharing that. Um, hope it th hope it's not too much of a burden on your soul. Um, like I said, uh, be the better person. Continue to love your uh, grandparents, even though they have such misguided uh, viewpoints. Um, try to subtly say that if they bring up an argument with you. Um, you can either lie and say, yeah, that's those, those non-cis people, or, I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to judge you for that, but st being an ally, if, if being an ally, you could say, like, try to lead them to a better understanding. If it won't burn bridges. Um, but your safety is your priority, so I don't know how often you see your grandparents um, I don't know how uh, close you are to them or how long you've known them but um, yeah all in all I'm sorry that you have to experience that and look at my look at that my Chevy bot agrees with me as well <laughs> it belie we believe in black matter well, black, we believe in black matter <laughs> we believe in dark matter in space anti-matter I think I thought that <laughs> we, guy in a Kirby game once black matter <laughs> <laughs> Was that the 64? Kirby 64? <laughs> <laughs> yes. We believe in Black Lives Matter, trans rights are human rights, and human is illegal. Right. It really hurt me that I saw my grandpa as an extremely respectable and kind person. He also called the mountain barriers of the world of the search as delusional. Mm. Wow. The, the, the hypocrisy is... That's just some... Mm. You can cut. You can hit, cut the hypocrisy with a knife, and form it. Mm. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, who's, who's live? Who's live right now? Who's waiting? Who's raiding? Who's raiding? Who, 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 who's live right now? Who's um, live? Who chose last time? Did I choose last time? I think, I might I think chose you chose. Last time. You chose last time. I am going to raid into someone who gave me my 300 follower. Huh. 300 follower. It's good. Their name is Soraka VTube. Soraka VTube. Yeah, Soraka you're going to need to send VTube. me that. Okay. Yeah, I am not familiar with the name. All right. Well, there's that. I'll load up their stream real quick. All, All right. right. There you go. And then... Six viewers, you all are so great, even though it's fucking scuff stream. You all guys are awesome. Thank you for so much for lurking. You guys are the MVPs. Uh, let me see. Um, yes. 
Uh, you were probably the 299th follow. Yeah, and Soraka was the 300th. So do you still need the name, or you got it? Yep, I got it. Okay. All right, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. I should probably start uh, right here, huh? Yeah, don't drink and drive. Don't drink. Uh, probably not a good idea to drink, but I'm not going to judge you. Uh, what I want you to do today is uh, you did you did push-ups last night. I want you to uh, do some sit-ups this time. Work on your core. You have anything you want to promote or shamelessly promote, my friend? Uh, not particularly. I haven't quite gotten back into streaming regularly yet. I'm glad that you um, choose me as your get gateway streaming experience. <laughs> no problem. No problem. <laughs> All right, everyone, take care. Have a good night. See you. I'll see you tomorrow, I think. Maybe. And I'll, I'll let you know. I'll see someone at some point. Who knows? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh. Thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you will be well until the next time I see you. The customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. And I threw myself yeah. off a little bit again because I uh, disrupted my <laughs> disrupted my okay. outro, which I have memorized entirely by muscle memory. Anyway, uh, bye. Farewell. Bye bye.